Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. First, I'd like to say thank you so much for 250 subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys taking the time of the day to watch my videos. The next thing I'd like to say is that I'm going to have a giveaway and all the information will be at the end of the video. So I hope that you stay tuned till the end. Today, I'm going to track my expenses for the week of February 1st all the way to February 7th. And then I will unstuff my envelopes and put them in the back to bank or my deposit envelope. So let's get started. As some of you know, I do live in New Jersey and we've been hit with about two feet of snow, at least in my area. So I haven't really gone anywhere. You'll see once you see my expenses. First thing I should do actually is transfer what I have budgeted for the month. So I will go back over here. Let's see, for fixed expenses, my total was $19.71. Groceries, $300. Gas, $80. Groceries was $300. Gas was $80. Laundry was $15. Eating out, I believe, was 50. Let's check. Eating out was 50, miscellaneous 15, and give 25. 15, 25. Oh boy, I already forgot. I'm my mind is everywhere. I've been so busy with work. I said 15 and 25, right? Please. <laughs> my memory is shot. Okay, giving 25, okay, my daughter is 15, and I get 20. That should total up to, you know, I can't think, so let's just get a calculator. Okay, so housing and utilities was 1971, plus 300 for groceries, 80 for gas, 15 laundry, you know, it's 50, miscellaneous 15, 25, 15, 20, 24, 91, 1971. So now let's look at what I spent this week. So this week I spent 1646 in rent, 1646 plus. 74 plus 71 for my car insurance and my renter's insurance, $4 for Alexa. That's $17.95. So I will go here, I will write $17.95. Let me subtract that. $19.71 minus $17.95 equals $176. Well, that is supposed to be left the 100 for my PSE and G, which is my gas and electric, and 76 for my cell phone. Groceries. Okay, like I said before, this snowstorm was coming, and the last time I left my apartment was, I believe, January 30th or 31st. No, 31st. It was that Sunday. It was the last time I drove my car. So, obviously, I have nothing for groceries, no gas. No laundry. Eating out. Eating out, I spent $14 on pizza and $5 in Dunkin' Donuts. So that is $19. Eating out, I spent $19. All these are zero. 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 31. Miscellaneous, I bought nail glue. I broke my nails. I broke both middle fingers on the side. Nail glue was two dollars. Miscellaneous, two dollars. Fifteen minus two is thirteen. Give was five. So that's twenty. A's wants nothing, and I haven't spent anything either. So let's see. 
Okay, so I spent 107, I'm sorry. Yeah, $1,795 plus 19 for eating out, $2 miscellaneous and $5 giving. I spent $1,821 this week. Which means I should have, let's see, minus 1971, $150 remaining. No, that does not make sense. Guys, my brain is fried. Why did I write household utilities and then I wrote the exact same thing on the bottom? I swear, it's this whole teaching thing. Like, I'm so grateful to have my job, but I'm on the computer all day. Let's see if I can fix this. Okay, so now let's find out how much I budgeted for. So 1971 plus 300 plus 80, 15, 50, 15, 25, 15, 20, 24, 91. I feel like I said that and I still wrote that. I don't know. 2491 minus 1821 $670. That sounds more like it. Let's check. Let me just transfer everything over. I have $300 remaining here. 80 for gas, 15 for laundry. 176 plus 300 plus 80, 15 31, 13, 20, 15, 20, 670. Okay, great. Okay, so what I have to do is I do have to take some of the money out from my envelopes. So rent is already out. I, I took that out. They took that out of my account. Same thing for Wi-Fi and my car insurance. I do have to take out Alexa, the $4, because that was charged on my credit card. And then I have to remove this much because I took this out of my credit card. I mean, I charged this on my credit card too. I am debt free. I just use my credit card for the points. So let's do that. So for current month, I will go to Alexa. I don't have the label yet. I'm sorry if you hear the radiator again. It says Boys and Girls Club, the BGC, but it's really Alexa. One, two, three, four. To the side, zoom out a bit. Next one is Eating Out, which is 14 and five, nineteen dollars So I'll take a 20 and I'll add a one. So that's 19. I will update my trackers later because I forgot to put them in here. And then miscellaneous, $2. I have my $2 right here. So I should have... Let's see, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 dollars. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 dollars. I also said I was going to track my sinking funds. So I did make one purchase online, which I actually have to go pick up, but I purchased a shirt and it's from the Target Black History Month collection. Actually, I really like what it says. I don't remember exactly what it says. I just know I liked it, but if I find a picture, I will include it right there. Let's take the $20 out of both. So I cool. Sinking funds. Clothes. $20. There's a 20. When did I make that purchase? I think the fourth. I think that's 
So we should have 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 dollars. So 25 plus 20 is 45. This goes back to the bank. Like I said, I haven't really gone anywhere. So I have to get the money from my other one and deposit that in the bank too. Now it's time for the giveaway. Let me show you the prize. The first item will be this journal or this notebook. It says, enjoy the journey. And when I saw it, I automatically thought, I want you guys to enjoy your debt-free journey. So it just says this journal belongs to your name, your address, and it's blank inside. There are no lines. So this is perfect for you to just create your own budget here you can track your expenses whatever you want to do you could create your trackers and color them in if you have goals for your sinking funds and it also has a pocket in the back i thought this was really cute and i like the color along with the journal comes a pack of pens i personally like to write in blue pen i know some people like to write in black so I found this pack that has little black dress, black pen, and Twilight Sky blue. Then I also got this envelope where you can store your pens, an envelope pouch. Or you can store money in it too, whatever you'd like. And of course, a binder. This is not like the one that I have, but I did start off with one like this. So this is the binder it comes with six envelopes i put an expense tracker in each they're blue that's my favorite color it just says expense tracker category beginning balance date description whether you deposit or withdraw and the balance it's the same as mine except mine says i think budget tracker so you have one two three four five and six in the back you have one $1,000 placeholder and the tracker. So this is just a placeholder. And it also comes with the labels that you can just stick on. So if you are interested in winning this prize, let me tell you what you have to do. First, you have to make sure that you are a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, make sure that your subscription list is public. I will try to post pictures of how to make sure that you are public. But I know you definitely have to look it up from a browser, not from the YouTube app. The next thing you do is please give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure that you are 18 or older or have parent permission because I will need your address to ship this to you. And the last thing I'd like you to do is to please leave a comment below in quotes saying hello from and tell me where you're from. I don't know why I've been with that Adele song in my head, hello. So I am curious to know where you guys are watching from. So if you can, please just leave hello from in quotations and then write whatever state or country you're watching from this will be a giveaway for us only along with your hello from don't forget to leave your instagram handle if you do not have an instagram handle it's okay just leave me an email address if you don't feel comfortable leaving your email address don't post it until i let you know who the winner is if you are the winner, then I will ask you to please post your email address. I hope that you enjoyed the video. But anyway, guys, have a great 
day. Bye.